Hi everyone. I'm so glad to be able to get on here and talk to you. I've wanted to for a while, but I just wasn't quite able. It's been, it was a week ago on Monday that I had my surgery and uh, it was the 18th of April, the day after Easter. And uh, the doctor told me that everything went well and uh, my bones in my shoulders were so soft that they was ready to crumble. And uh, he cut bones out on both sides of my shoulder and uh, put in <clears throat> some things that looked similar to what he put in my hip. And he said that he hopes that I will have all my <clears throat> uh, movement back or at least a big percentage of it. Uh, right now, I'm only allowed to do four exercises, and I have to keep this sling on all the time. I have to keep it on until uh, May the 4th, <clears throat> and then I go back to see him, and then I start um, therapy where I have to leave the house and go to uh, physical therapy. And uh, they say it's gonna be pretty tough, but, and what I'm feeling right now is really, really different. Um, I've been on really strong pain medicine and I stopped taking it two nights ago. I was, I was taking it every four hours and I got to where I was only taking it every six hours. <clears throat> And um, then uh, I completely quit two nights ago. And uh, I didn't have any pain all that night or all the next day until yesterday. I did um, a shampoo with uh, the OT. And when I lean back on my chair on the shower, it hurt my shoulder blade and it made my arm start hurting and it hadn't been hurting. And I mean, I'm not blaming anybody for that, just what happened. And uh, so I had, that was about 2.30 and I had pain till about 7.30, but I, I didn't want to take anything because I didn't want to get started back on those really strong medicines. <clears throat> so, last night, when I went to bed, I couldn't sleep. I had no pain, but I could not sleep until wee hours of the morning. I don't know. It's just so different. It's so different not to be in the pain that I was in before. And uh, now today, <clears throat> I've had some pain. And after I do, do my exercises, I have some pain. But uh, I've got ice, ice on my shoulder right now. And um, <clears throat> I've, it's been swollen and I'm trying to ice it down. And um, <clears throat> so that's how far I'm getting with everything. Uh, I'm not able to do much with one hand. But um, the weather has warmed up. It's going to get up to 71, I think, today. And it's been wonderful. I feel like God has led me to this doctor, too. And because he said to me, as soon as I went in there, that he, after he looked at my x-rays, he sent me to get more. And he said, I'll be able to help you. And no one else had said that. No one else had even said that at all. So he said, I will not have any of that pain that I had before surgery. I will have a different pain until my surgery heals up. And he said it could take uh, as long as six or eight weeks to get healed up, but it'd take over a year to completely heal. And uh, <clears throat> my hip actually is not completely healed up and won't be until in September, 
but I have no problems with my hip, praise God. I have no problem with my hip at all. And I'm so thankful for that. And if my shoulder will just do as well, that will be wonderful. And um, I can put a picture of, of my shoulder with what they put in my shoulder. I won't send you a picture of my surgery scar, but I will put a picture of on of what the doctor put in my shoulder. And I wanted to tell you, this was a total shoulder reverse uh, <laughs> I can't even think of the word. Replacement. It was a complete total reverse shoulder replacement. That's a lot of words to remember. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Everything went good in the hospital. I came home the second day. Uh, it's just that I'm not able to do much with one arm. And uh, I'm not complaining about that one little bit. Um, I was afraid that strong pain medicine would make me sick. Uh, it had codeine in it, and it, codeine upsets my stomach. But I, I got along good with it, and I'm doing good. I'm able to get up and walk around. I can go outside. I can feed my birds with one hand. <laughs> oh, and my little squirrels, I feed them corn. Michelle got me some real corn, and uh, I'm feeding them. And I've got a couple of different kinds of birds that's come this year, and I'm so pleased with that. And uh, I'm just happy to be alive and happy to be feeling as good as I'm feeling so so thankful the the good lord has blessed me again and i just wanted to let all you know that have asked about me how much i appreciate that and how much i appreciate your prayers and your concerns and i i'm sorry it's taken me so long to let you know but i hope you all get to watch this so you'll know how i'm doing and i'm going to get off for now and if i when i get to see the doctor and get out. Maybe somebody will help me make something and uh, I can post a little, another cooking video and I'm sorry this has taken so long, but so thankful. You all have a really, really good day and uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. Bye for now.